The Boston Bruins are revolutionizing the goaltending position. The main story of this team in the offseason outside of Patrice Bergeron's retirement was the discussion surrounding their goaltending. Linus Allmark and Jeremy Swayman both had career years last season. Allmark led the league in almost every statistic earning his first Vesna trophy, while his partner in crime Swayman finished fourth in goals against and save percentage last year. While most people expected to see Allmark in a different sweater this season, the Bruins opted to keep both goalies after arbitrary concluded with Jeremy Swayman. Currently, the Boston Bruins are giving around $8.5 million to their goaltending this year, which is around 10% of their salary cap and is top 10 in goaltending spending across the league. So why are we talking about this? And how did Boston revolutionize goaltending just by signing two guys? Well, the Bruins started the season dedicating themselves to a platoon-style goalieing system, meaning each guy would play half the season and share the net in rotation. And after every game, for the most part, the Bruins have kept up with this rotation style. Compare this tandem system to other teams across the league and through history, and you'll notice that there are a lot of other teams beginning to realize how effective this model can be, and how it can actually help preserve goalies from the wear and tear that usually comes from playing full 60 game seasons. So to prove this, let's compare the current Bruins tandem situation to another team in the league that is currently using the traditional starter backup goaltending style in the Colorado Avalanche to see which one will be more effective. Now let's start with Boston. Both Boston goalies have started over 20 games so far this season. Jeremy Swayman has played in 25 games with a record of 15-3-7. Swayman has a 9-2-3 save percentage and a 2.31 goals against average and looks to be the 1A goalie in the Boston tandem system. On the other side, Linus Allmark has started 21 games and has missed a small amount of time due to a groin injury, which is why he has less starts. In his first 21 starts, Allmark has a record of 14-5-2, a 9-13 save percentage and a 2.80 goals against average. From these statistics, you can see that both Boston goalies are thriving under the current conditions. And while the Bruins are spending a hefty penny towards their goaltending, it seems to be working in their favor. On the flip side is the Colorado Avalanche. Looking at Georgiev's stats first, he has been the workhorse for the Colorado Avalanche in his second starting season. Georgiev has started in 38 games, which is 13 more than Swayman and 17 more than Allmark. Combine the two and Allmark and Swayman have played in only 8 more games than Georgiev. In his 38 games, he has a record of 25-11-2, but his statistics aren't exactly stellar even though he has been winning the majority of his starts. Right now, Georgiev has an 896 save percentage and a 2.98 goals against average. Meanwhile, his backup has only started in 8 games with a record of 4-3-1 and, and a save percentage of .895 and a goals against average of 316. In this traditional starter backup role, both guys are struggling. Georgiev is being overwhelmed, and Provestov isn't getting enough quality starts to really prepare himself for more in-game scenarios. While the Avalanche are performing well, given the state of their goaltending, they could just be in a much better place if they had a guy who could help out Georgiev. So what's the point here? The point is that Boston has been able to take a year that was meant to be a rebuilding phase for their franchise and turn it into a successful season because they have reliable guys in net that can bail them out in a bunch of different situations. If you look at Colorado, their roster is in their prime and fresh fresh off a cup winning season two years ago. Now if this team had some consistency and dependability from both goalies, they may be seeing more success this season and could have a better opportunity to win their division. I've seen way too many people talk about Boston trading Allmark at the deadline, but having these two guys is the reason why Boston has been able to find success in a somewhat average forward group. From the two examples here, I think it's pretty clear that tandem and goalies will be the future of the NHL and Boston may just be one of those first teams who picked up on this trend. But let me know what you guys think? Do you think that more NHL teams should tandem their goaltending or is having a clear starter and backup still the right model for the NHL? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.